Another one of my latest acquisitions. Quite met. Listening on channel 11, the tracks skip running. Glitches, hiccups, smooth radio, everything's been redone on it. Left the cover unscrewed. This is not a hinge cover on it. So we have to remove the club cover, it doesn't flip. Show you inside. Every electrolytic cap has been replaced and most of the power resistors have been replaced. You can see the blue flame proof power resistors. Bunch of them there. Off the board so they can have airflow, less heat. Pretty clean radio. You can see the big red uh, cap there. That's the plate locking cap. Always replace those with higher voltage on any tram D201 or A for safety reasons. The original one is uh, too low a voltage. It shorts out. And then you got high voltage going all through your antenna coax and maybe even you. Some of the electrolytics and more uh, resistors been replaced. The small 6DG6 has been upgraded to the earlier 6L6 final tube there. And the 6L6 audio tube has been upgraded to a 6550A very heavy duty audio tube there. Can caps replace. The black one is a high end, uh, low leakage. Audio file cap. And then, last, if you notice, no BA board in this radio. It's been removed, and the components have been mostly soldered right to the board there you see a few extra components and it's a couple more extra underneath where the BA board has been removed and everything's been hard soldered to the board plus it's an added voltage regulator there for the low voltage very accurate and a higher power and also instead of a tube powered in the relay with high voltage 
that powers the relay now and the relay has been replaced with the low voltage relay a 24 volt instead of uh, the normal 115 volt powered by the tube these are a lot more common and a lot easier to get than the hard to find high voltage plus it's been upgraded with bright LEDs for the display meter and the uh, dials Listening to the infamous 23 in Detroit, shooting skip. But we're gonna put this guy on transmit into a dummy load, mind you. We're not gonna try to key down with the big boys with this barefoot station on the ground plane, so we're just gonna go into the dummy load. Oh, we got another receiver on. Let me turn that down right quick. And let's try it again. He had to turn down the 398 we got listening. Okay, we're on peak. Audio. You can see how sensitive this radio is. Picks up any background noise. For one, we're using a amplified mic and this radio does go better with a uh, non-amplified but I didn't see any laying around so I just hooked up the amplified audio audio hello 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 it's keying about four swinging about 20 peak audio audio Hello, hello, hello. Audio, audio, audio. Let's put her on average. Just under three. Hello, hello, hello. Audio. Hello, 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 hello. Swing into about seven. That's on average. That's the power of a D201A. A lot of the old tube radios, they won't swing like that on peak. A lot of tube radios, a key two, three, swing maybe uh, six, seven on peak. This one does it on average. That's going to be about it. <sighs> Tram D201A. Oh, one more thing. This one has the infamous gray channel selector. If you can see that there. Not the black one. The black one is the bad one. Black, bad, gray there. It's good. Good channel selector. No glitches with it. Probably the, one of the best working tram D201As you'll ever see. Recapped, gray channel selector, resistors replaced, electrolytic caps replaced. Should last me a good long time, unless I sell it. Okay, end the demo.